going on everybody it's brian with you from the game common and we're playing more total war warhammer continuing with the or campaign we're getting pretty far along what's hilarious is we haven't even done we've done what like maybe a little over a fourth of the tech and we're probably like over halfway through the game just because we're just rolling right now so um the dwarves are down to like only a couple provinces, so that's not that big of a deal. The biggest issue is going to be grabbing these provinces way over here. And it's not an issue from the standpoint of it's gonna be hard, it's just gonna be annoying. <laughs> so anyways, we do have quite a few units moving west right now, uh, quite a few armies. So they're gonna be kind of my foothold then over here on the west side. The party's here on the west side. Um, but anyways, I don't know if there's any dwarves. I think there are. If there's some dwarf provinces over here, we probably want to take them. At least from the standpoint of it gives us a foothold. My biggest concern is like border princes. I'm not really interested in fighting them. If we can just avoid them, I have zero reason to destroy them and or fight them. So I'd rather just ignore them if they're cool with that. They're, they don't have a lot of strength. They only have two provinces. The time for talk is over. Make your demand. Maybe I will declare war on them. <laughs> I mean, they have two provinces. They're not that scary. Yeah. Yeah. All right. How's your HP? We're waiting one more turn. Okay. Let's go next turn. Moving our armies west. Skull takers. Your ally has been attacked. Sure. That's fine. Why are they being attacked though by you? Like where where is that happening? Who's, who's raiding me by the way? Oh, that's my wog, isn't it? Yeah, whatever. Raise or sack Avernheim. After I just went through that long description of how I don't want to do that, they tell me, hey, you should totally do this. I hate you game. Okay, so this is what I think I want to do. Let's move you here. Let us just finish you off. And then we're going to just go ahead and occupy it this time. And then I want to take ya. And I want to come down here. And let's go ahead and just siege you down. It's actually a closer battle than I wanted, but we still got a decisive victory on that. So we can sack it for 1300. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'll probably attack him again next turn. Can I switch? now? I was kind of hoping I could do the raiding one. Um, We do have to be careful with them right there. But we should be good now to move you out. So let's go ahead and get you up here. And my goal is to come over here and take care of Karn. Most likely with his army. Like with these two armies right here. And then I'll probably use your army to just like go do some work over here. Maybe just have you raid for a bit and gain some HP. You're almost at full HP again, so let's go ahead and move you down here. That was not the right button. You are at a full freaking strength army, so... Come over here, man. Alright, so that's going well over here. Bergvar. Eh. Does this give me more... Uh, garrison? No, it does not. Okay. All right, so you are in the water. Let's get you on the coast. We may just finish off the border princes while we're down here. I mean, he's got these two provinces. He's got a little tiny army there. It's kind of like, you're really not gonna be hard to take care of. So, Carrick Darn, I don't think I wanna mess with you. We're growing you. Now we should be, yep, there we are, tier five. Okay, so I could actually come over here and grab me some trolls. What's this one, unit experience? So we could actually get the giants. I think that's our best option. The other option, I don't really care. We can get another shaman, eh. I, what's actually really cool about this game and changing topics here, but I absolutely love the fact that like the orcs have almost no spellcasters. It's really, really cool, especially playing the vampires in my own free time. Um, just having all the different units to just throw down spells. It's just really cool how different they make each race, which I'm really digging. And I can't wait to actually mix these, uh, all these races with the big campaign map uh, when Total War 2 comes out. 
All right, back on topic though. Let's go ahead and grow you tier three. Go get some money. Let's get some money. Um, population surplus two. We need four for that. So sure, let's just go ahead and grow you while we're here so we can make some money. You are all good. I don't think our happiness is fine. It's our obedience, so there's no reason to grow you. Um, what does this do? Just better growth? I don't think that really matters at this point. I'd rather just not spend the money if we don't have to. Let's get you up to tier three. Um, might as well do the squigs there. And pretty much all of our settlements are kind of taking the same tier. <laughs> it's like, do this, and then this, and then this building, and then this building. And we already moved you this turn. Oh, why aren't you getting in the water, man? There you go. Thank you. We need to get these fightiness going up. What's yours at? Yours is okay. So they're both fine still. Um, how's your fightiness? Your fightiness is a little low. Yours is also pretty low. So hopefully we can get them across the sea before that um, becomes an issue. I would actually like to build here. Make money. What's our growth at? It's going to take five turns. Okay. And we already moved you. We can't do anything else with you. So let's just keep you where you're at. And you actually have a level. So, oh yeah, we need another tech too. Uh, why? What do we need to start these? We already have the Goblin Workshop, so we can actually build those. So we just need this tech here. So I can do all of this once I get Big Lever. So let's go ahead and pick up Big Lever, and then we can start going in this direction. Income from raiding. Not bad. Charge bonus, eh. Melee defense. Armor. Eh, armor. But for chariots, eh. Weapon strength plus 10% for orc units? Hell yeah! Yeah, okay, so we want to get to this tier right here. What does this do? Range for Goblin Infantry. This is all archers. I guess I probably should be relying on more archers, it seems like. Just based on the text, but eh. Okay, so Rend has another level. We are giving you Aura Size. Cool. Nuz Nubzub is our Goblin Great Shaman. Ooh. Uh, we gotta do Power Drain, but I want the curse again. I like that curse, man. And then... Grognock? Grognock? Grognock. Let's go ahead and grab you, Precision, for more weapon strength. Okay. I think we good. Next turn. I need you guys to move faster, man. <laughs> uh, can we just get chariots for all our units just to, like, roll them across the desert quicker, man? Uh, Aberland's actually bringing a force to bear against me, FYI. Ally mobilizes, mobilizes against settlement. Thank you. So hopefully he stopped raiding me. Let's get you going up here. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Uh... Well, that's a little scary. Shall avenge the grudges between. He will actually piece me out. Let's actually move you over here. Just to keep him out of range for now. And I can't do that until I'm in the raiding camp state. Um, who are you, by the way? Tilia? Is this Brentonia? Yeah, it's Brentonian. Units. Okay. Well, I have zero desire to fight you. You wanna... You wanna... You wanna... You wanna... No? Okay. Are he? Wait, 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 wait. Is he at war? Who are you at war with? Yeah, he is at war with Tilia. Now, Tilia has a strength rank of 17. Clan is 13. So they are a little stronger. Once we get both of these armies up here, though, I'm not too worried. We can actually take them on, and I'll, I'll feel pretty confident about that attack. Okay, so first thing we want to do, let's get you here, and let's get you going up here. And then we'll probably start raiding next turn. We can do underground as well. I like this. Get you over here. Now the question is... Who needs 
can we beat this army? 11 to 20. He has two, uh, two, um, 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 heroes, and then one lord, which could be a bit scary. The other thing is he is right here as well. We may, what if we just do this? We'll make some money, we'll gain some HP. He is within range of attacking me. My only concern is whatever he has here. Actually, he has quite a large garrison there. Eh. So now it looks like we need to move you back home. Let's move back home then. Let's gain some HP. We'll come down to squish him here in a bit. I forgot he was actually there. Hey, I actually want you. I changed my mind. Come take this on. If you guys can just like loot it to the ground, that would be great. Um, you are at full HP. Let's go ahead and move you over here. Part of me wants to just ruin. I may just come declare war on the border princes. I just don't like their army here, man. They're so small. But we have these other border prince uh, settlements that are just kind of sitting there asking to be taken. Okay, so you need to get your butt over here. Now, now, definitely do not go that way. So let's just get you down here into the water. Thank you. And you're a couple turns from being able to get in the water. Now, if we're going to build any buildings, it's going to be over here in eight peaks. But you still need two more turns on that. We probably want to save a little bit of money to get the tier uh, two building. How much is that going to run us? Can we see from here? Uh, 15,000? Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we're good. That that was that was a little unexpected. I mean, I figured it was going to be expensive. I was thinking like eight grand, you know, maybe nine, at worst ten, but 15 freaking grand? What the freaking heck? Okay, how's our happiness? We're actually unhappy. Let's go ahead and grab some obedience there just to take care of it. Um, Everyone else doing good. Wrong button. How? We're still at 3,600, so we still need to basically raid a whole heck of a lot right now. But that's... Uh, that's an unfortunate aspect of where we're at right now. Averland is moving in. And Averland did actually beat back the orc army. It looks like it destroyed both my wogs. Or did he run away? No, it looks like my wog actually... Oh, he destroyed the little wog. He didn't destroy the bigger one. He wants me to join war against a Karak Cardin. He's going to pay me 750 Nah. Nah. So, yeah, our wog got destroyed. That's fine. So, he is actually a decent-sized army when you add in this garrison that they have. Because they actually have the city watch. Man, I should actually just burned it to the ground, apparently. But, oh, well. So, let's go ahead and move you over here. And we're going to get ready to actually siege these guys down next turn. They're at 12 to 20. And then 7, 14, 15, 16. 16 plus 12 is going to be 28. We're at oh, just under 40. Speaking of that, I actually need to recruit. 1,400 gold. Oh, my God. Sorry. Let's just go ahead and grab them right away. This is unfortunate for us right now. Damn it. <laughs> because this guy is going to go move in to siege them down. Actually, he can't. So let's actually do this. Let's move you down here. Now, if he attacks me, the garrison should not join him. But now we're here just in case he decides to move over and come help me. I think that's a good balance of where we're at. Oh, actually, we have this guy right here. So we can actually get you up here. And come help out. So we'll be able to move them both out. And we have so many armies right now. Our money is actually not all that great right now. Um, the big thing is I actually need to make 10,000 gold over the next turn. 
so I can start my last tier building. Uh... Oh, hi. Okay. So that dwarf army just ended up beating him. Yeah, let's do this. And let's get you right here. 830 gold, not bad. So they didn't lose a lot of units, actually. Now, if we can meet them in the open field, that would be good. Because um, I really don't want to fight an 18 stack covering behind walls or hiding behind walls. That's just going to be annoying. So hopefully we can actually cut him off and meet him out. I'm assuming his province has to be over here somewhere. So, okay, okay. We have one more army moving in. We're making okay money. It's not great, but it's not terrible. So we do give me more money. Is there an easy way? We're actually losing a lot of happiness over here. Is there an easy way for me to see um, if we need money, buildings built, upgraded? Probably this way. It's kind of annoying. Although this is actually a lot quicker than how I've been doing it, now that I think about it. Okay, yeah, 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 fine there, fine there. And then Black Mountains, I couldn't do anything right now. Okay, well, I think we're good for this turn. Hopefully this Everland thing doesn't screw me over. Your ally has been attacked. I am very much out of position. I don't want to break the alliance. We're very much out of position, though. Everland wants a peace treaty? No. No. Although the peace treaty would actually allow me to move in on the dwarves. Here's my only concern. The dwarf province, the main one I have, I'm very much out of position right now. If they come around and attack me over here. I have literally no units because I moved all my armies away. All right, well, let's do this. Um, we want to build and then siege. We have another banner too. Let's actually do this. Then let's get you. Come join. So we actually are still very weak comparatively. I wonder why. Is it just the amount of units he has? Ugh, it's also taking forever for us. I wouldn't mind just sieging him down, all things considered. I wonder if he'll piece me out, Karakarn. You have seconds to live, Orc. He actually will. Speak quickly before you die in agony. <sighs> so we may piece him out and then that's going to allow me to move all my forces towards the east um he actually moved his army away which is a really dumb idea so let's just go knock these guys out again and then let's just go ahead and raise them this time okay and so now I want you to come back over here and I need you to get back over here to help protect um, I got my army over here that's fine I just don't know can we win this battle if he sallies forth I mean we're at 40 freaking troops I mean he's rolling with quite a bit we're gonna have to save before the end of the turn, and we may piece them out if if we can't win that battle. Everland actually would piece you out right now. Peace treaty. Give me a ton of money. He will not give me five thousand. What about four thousand? Low. Twenty five hundred. Low. Dang. Does he just not? He might not have any money right now. Thousand. <sighs> All right, I got 1,500 out of him. Okay, who else are we at war with right now? 
a lot of people. <laughs> Wisenland? I don't think I really care about... Really don't want to be at war with you. It's just like a waste right now. Okay, so with these guys dead, let's start moving out. Let's see if we can catch the doors. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to. Unfortunately, I forgot to switch him to normal stance, so he's going to be in mar march stance no matter what. Where are you going, dude? Let's do something like that. Now, objective-wise, we're at 4,000, but we did make 800 just from looting there, so I can't complain. We do have three full armies incoming, so... Okay, sorry. Two full armies and a 13 stack. And then... Maybe we just come destroy you. Part of me just wants to come destroy you. Don't really have hardly anything protecting you. And then that army right there is really tiny, so... Yeah. Unfortunately for us, though... We're at 8,000, and I still need 15,000. Where did my character eight peaks went? We need 15,000 to upgrade you. Ah, so yeah, we're still a little bit of ways away from that. If we were able to actually take over that province, that would be um, that would be successful for us, or we'd make the money. Now, question: You do have walls, so I can't just instantly pop up there and destroy you. Um, here's the other thing. I want this wog. I need you to come over here. Go do that. Come on, war boss. Okay, so let's go ahead and save really quickly. Green skins, thank you. And we're gonna see whether or not they sally forth and take me out. If they sally forth and they're stronger than me, yeah, that's gonna suck. We may fight that battle too, depending on how bad of a disadvantage we're at. Um, Goblin Big Boss. Give you more weapon strength. Thank you. What's the spy do? Eh, I don't care about that one. Alright, next turn. My goal is that he doesn't sally forth and he just sits there and takes attrition every turn. Um, he wants me to pay him 220 gold. It's like, I'll piece you out for free. I'm not paying you 220 gold. <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> I have like 20 armies right now. I'm not worried about you. Um, ally mobilizes against settlement. Cool. Mission issued. We need to assassinate this random dude. We get Talesman of Endurance, which is kind of meh. Where is my dude? 34% chance. Screw it. Try. Go for it. Who needs stabbing? I love the dwarves. Or the, sorry, the dwarves. <laughs> the orcs. Uh, the green skins. Whatever. Shut up. Leave me alone. Let's bring you down here. And then next turn, I'm going to pop you up there. I can actually pop you up there and help out. Are you sieging? It doesn't actually look like he is. I suppose I'm out. Okay, so I am popping you up here. Instead, let's go ahead and move you this way, and we'll move you to come back to protect. I could raise up another army, but eh. I also don't want to spend any money right, right, right now. Uh, question, how bad are we losing this battle at this point? Still pretty bad. Let's actually continue constructing stuff. Why is my siege so, like, terrible? Our siege, like, um, what's it called? The building? What is it? Labor force cost. The size of your army determines the amount of labor available. We have a maxed out army. Mm, whatever. Magic resistance. Let's throw it on my special dude. So he can't, like, sneak up on me. We'll go ahead and continue siege. And I, I mean, hey, here's the thing. If we end up like reducing his army uh, because of attrition, I'm fine with that. I'm I'm fine waiting. Mr. Stabby. <laughs> God, I love the goblins. Uh, okay. All right. Hi. Right. Let's go ahead and move you up. 
Ooh, okay, so here's another Tilia. Force. We're gonna keep all our units close by. And my goal is to just wreck him in the face right now. Now, we should be able to settle here? Yeah. Oh, he's down to one settlement? Oh, interesting. So if we destroy his army, it's basically, it's over for him. I don't think we have to settle any of these things, but eh, sure. Now, question. What are you at? You're down to one settlement. So it may just be worth it for me just to come destroy him for the hell of it. Ah, <sighs> okay. Unfortunately, we can't make any money this turn, so boo. Next turn. You can run, but I will catch you and kill you. Uh, Averland. Dude, these orcs are pissing me off. How are they getting war declared on them? They're just a freaking horde, man. Ugh. Brutal business gives us weapon damage. Okay. Question. I think we figured this out, but we can't confederate you ever because you're a horde, right? Yeah. I almost don't even want to be at peace with you at this point. <laughs> You're causing me more issues. Okay. No, we're not making anything for that. Is this going to make us money? No. We're actually not even gaining. <sighs> okay, so now this is a really awkward spot. I could come over here to help protect against the dwarves. Downside is if Averland comes, Averheim brings an army over here, I'm kind of screwed. Uh, so let's put you up here. Let's protect against Averheim. I suppose I could actually just protect against the dwarves. Well, or I could just peace out the dwarves. Worst case scenario. I suppose they would probably take it. Really? They actually have a strength of seven, too. Ooh, they have five provinces. How did that happen? Okay, I wonder who did they gain a province from? Other option, other question. What are you doing, by the way? You're on regular, you're on underway. Let's put you on regular. We're still massively underpowered for this, so siege continues, or the siege continues. How many turns was this? I didn't see. It's going to take nine turns before they suffer attrition. Oh, it's just going to take too long. <laughs> I don't have patience for it. Okay, do we want to come kill you? You do have walls. And you do have a decently sized force. But I think let's keep moving up. And let's actually maybe just put you on full speed. I think not. And just have them catch up to these dwarves. And we're all gonna be like rushing, but that should be fine. He's not gonna be able to take me out. Now, we did see he still has one territory, right? Can I actually see where that settlement is? Nah. He actually has strength of 12 with probably a one stack army right now. That's disappointing. Do we, I, I don't know. I'm wondering if I want to settle any of these things. Probably not, because I don't think I need to. Like, let's just double check here. That what we still need to control is that one up there, that one over there, that one over there. This is, I think, the one we're chasing down right now. Karakarn, we need. Working on that one. We're going to that one eventually, going to that one eventually. We have those. That's a long way away. Oh my god, that's going to take forever. <laughs> Seriously, you're going to make me go all the way up there. Oh, screw you, game. Seriously, screw you, game. <laughs> the things I do to freaking win the game. Uh, by the way, weren't you supposed to murder someone? You're working on it. All right, well, next turn. Oh, we found the dwarf army. Luckily, it's not marching in on my unprotected lands. They're marching it towards my protected lands. So yay us Technology cool. So let's go ahead and grab big wheels then because I want to come down and get massive choppas 
which is just going to be just wonderful when we can get it. Um, I'm assuming he's coming up here to actually win this battle. Who calls me? Can you just like freaking attack this dude right now? That would be really great. I hate the wogs, man. He's actually taking quite a bit of attrition too. I almost maybe just want to send him to go kill this army. And then just let me take the province. That might not be a bad idea. And then let's do this. Let's put you underground. Oh, wait. Okay, let's see. If I siege it next turn, I'll still need another turn to actually build siege equipment. So we could probably leave him here one more turn then. You're actually able to try this this turn. Cool. Cool. Let's put you on regular. And let's come up here. See if we can find the army. We found the army. And we can't actually get you all the way up there. So it looks like he's probably just going to go all the way down here and, uh, and get back into town. Now, was that one of the ones we need? Karak Azor? Yeah, so that's one we do need. So we will have to actually take this settlement. Okay, so let's move all you guys up here then. Hello, Mr. Elves. You want a non-aggressive Poogie Smee? I tried. Everyone hates me, man. Actually, you know what? I should have positive influence with these guys, right? Yeah, nice. Military access. Nice. Defensive alliance. Break military alliance with my skull takers and they'll pay me a thousand that doesn't help me military alliance how about that no they don't want it okay what about von kostein von kostein me a non-aggression pact they're rejected okay what about temp and hoof what who did now see since i actually pieced with these guys they're probably not gonna like me as much And ironically, I pieced with the weakest of the three. All right, well, that was a mess up. Eh, whatever. Carrot Gate Peaks, let's do this. Boom, boom, hell yeah. Okay, so now we can actually spend some money. Um, Let's go to provinces. Is there any money buildings that need upgrading or need building? Yes. Give me more money. Is there any new buildings there? No. I'm trying to see if it was like... Because a lot of provinces have unique buildings. Just seeing if any of those are available. And I guess let's go ahead and grab you rank 2. Might as well. Okay, that was all my money. Okay, next turn. We have already maxed out your upkeep. I do like this one though, plus two fightiness. Um, reduction to chaos, lightning, ambush chance. Let's do the reduction. Um, I don't, we're gonna have to worry about it a little bit as we start getting north over here. Okay, how long have we been going? 33 minutes, so we do need to wrap this episode up here. Hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think, and as always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, share your support. I'll see you guys next episode. Later.